Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the weekly show where we teach you how to do something cool in your Lightworks video editor in two minutes or less. My name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks, and today I want to talk to you about keyframes. Now keyframes are a really important tool for marking the start, end, or even the middle, or an important change or transition within your project. They do apply to audio or visual elements. Today we are just going to focus on the visual. We'll do audio in a future video. So rather than me trying to talk at you for the next 10 minutes explaining them, let's dive into Lightworks and I'll show you the very basics of how they're done. First things first though, two minute timer up on the screen now, and off we go. Here we are inside Lightworks, and we're going to jump straight into the VFX panel and just add any effect to our clip. I'm going to use 2D DVE because it's quite a basic one just to do with sizing and positioning. And to get started with keyframes, you just want to click the stopwatch next to any effect. Once you've clicked that, that's enabled your keyframes now. So we'll go to graphs. This is where we can control them. If we move the red line out of the way, you can see here you've got this little circle, which is your keyframe. So we'll click the plus button to add another keyframe there. Jump along a bit, another keyframe, and then add a last one here. Now we've added some keyframes, but what do they actually do? Well, these control the effect that they were next to when we click the stopwatch. In this case, that's the overall size of the footage. So if we drag our red line near to that keyframe and then pull that up or down, you can see that controls the size. Now what the keyframes do is record the state of the clip at the point of that keyframe. So our first keyframes remained unchanged, so that will be the original size. The second keyframe we've dragged up to increase the size. If I play that back for you, you can see we start off with the original size, hit play, and there we go, we zoom in. And then it starts to zoom back out because the third keyframe is still back at the original size. If we pause that, drag that keyframe up, go back to here, hit play again. We zoom in quickly, and then there's a larger gap between the second and third keyframe, so there's a much slower and much more subtle zoom. Just to demonstrate the difference this can make, if we drag the second keyframe along, hit play again, and you can see that initial zoom is now much slower. If we drag it all the way back to just above the first keyframe, hit play again, you can now see we've got a very quick zoom. Finally, if we go to the end here, click play, and you can see from our third keyframe to our last one, we zoom back out, back to the original state of our clip. So that's keyframes in a nutshell. Quite simple in their basic execution, but they can be tricky to master. So get some footage into Lightworks, dump an effect on it, and just have a play around. Let us know in the comments below how you get on with that, and please don't forget to like and subscribe for future Shortcuts episodes. Thanks for watching.